الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي الرسول أولى الأمر منكم and always a reminder for myself أنا أبك العجيس الضعيف ومسكين وزار المجهر and but for the grace of Allah subhanahu that we are still in existence alhamdulillah that this 11th month of Zul Qidah and the immense lights and blessings and all the immense realities of the Divine the Mirror. I think that our system of questions should be more like a classroom that from the subjects that we talk on that night or the previous few nights, those should be the, the topics of the questions and people whom have an understanding or a clarification of the understanding, maybe we can keep it all in line with the same subject. It's moving on a course and too much bouncing around and gives us the impression that people are not understanding or they didn't pick up the course matter. So it's just like in a university that subject is going to be taught and then all of a sudden the questions are about geography but we were talking about math. So if we keep it within the same system because these are our deep subjects, it's not so much what people can ask. Some people say, well, what are we supposed to ask? There's, there's a subject we don't understand. But clarifications, understandings, what we perceive the understanding to be so that the shaykh can perceive what the level of understanding and how much more to clarify the subject, how to go deeper into the subject. So alhamdulillah, inshaAllah always a reminder for myself so that we can go deeper into these realities and not just to cover and then keep going to something different. When all of this is being tied in together with every teaching, this is the realities of the Divine Mirror and the reality of Maqam al-Ihsan, to worship as if you see your Lord. And if not then to know and not even if not but if, if and if not know that your Lord is always seeing you. It puts into perspective the reality of our salah and people have to understand that for normal understanding they all agree to be facing the Kaaba nothing's changed. And the reality of the direction of prayer, we don't pray to the house of stones, we merely direct our self in that direction and that the unifying direction so that wherever we are we face that direction. Nobody worships a house of stones. All worshipness is for Allah nothing's changed. But at the level of Iman because that's Islam, at the level of Iman Sayyidina Muhammad was teaching holy companions that you have to love me more than you love yourself. Because this opening for them, if, if, if not them who? So his holy companions are the ones whom all of them are stars, all of them reached their sainthood, all of them reached the realities of what Allah wanted them to reach. That any of my companions you follow they're like stars. So it means that their, their light and their malakut reality opened. So then to teach them to reach to that is that you have to love me more than you love yourself so that you can reach to iman. So faith is a world of light and that light that Allah wants to dress us with is a light from Sayyidina Muhammad Means that that reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah that's the light that enters into the heart and begins to purify from within and without and from the outside. But the inside has to have that light that begins to internally work, work on the soul, purify the reality inside. As a result of the inside purity, the outside 
can be perfected. So it means the cleansing is always inside and then outside is the finishing. We've described many years ago and many times it's like cooking a turkey. So the people whom do not follow the tariqah, they're too busy only fixing the outside. So it's like a turkey or a chicken because people may not know what a turkey is in other countries but a, a chicken and if you don't cook the chicken properly and you only spend time sort of roasting the outside and then say, oh it, it's ready, it's finished, look the outside looks all nice, it looks like what it's supposed to look like. And anybody who takes a bite of that becomes sick because it's not been cooked, it's not been prepared thoroughly and the tariqah comes to teach that reality. That those who focus only on their exterior, that they say the words of Islam, they appear to follow the understandings of Islam but inside is completely raw. That their understanding of faith never reached, the light of faith never entered. And as a result it's just an empty shell. The turuqs and whom Allah guides is truly guided and when Allah wants to send them real guidance, He teaches them of their inner core. So it makes sense if you're being guided inside that's true guidance. When Allah is guiding the inner reality of your soul to open up your light and open up your heart open up your faith, open up your Divinely love, that's what Allah deems to be guided. Means there's no guidance except through the guidance of Allah If He doesn't take the servant onto that path then that's not the depth of guidance that Allah wanted for humanity. So that they open their light, they open their heart, they open their love and that's why Prophet then gave the hint that if you want faith, you want the, the station of faith is that we have to love the Divine more than we love ourselves. So somebody tuning in knew it's that we have to find and, and find something from the Divine that is greater than ourselves, that we love more than ourselves, that we deem of importance more than ourselves and that's why the Divinely Kingdom gave us the reality of the prophetic kingdom because the prophetic kingdom represents God Almighty on earth. By loving them more than we love ourselves, we're loving something of a Divine nature and we place its standard above our standard. So it means to love something more than you love yourself means that that something from the Divinely Kingdom when you love it more than you love yourself you abide by its rules, not my rules, not what I want to do. But what the, that Divinely representative means the Muhammadan haqqaiq and for all nations their prophetic reality is what the prophetic reality is superior. And that's why the following of the heavenly laws and heavenly guidance because we're supposed to love it more than we love ourselves. Not to find a comfort within ourselves, no I, I want this that therefore it's okay, no I want this therefore it's okay. So the tariqahs and the shaykhs come to remind us that that's your struggle is to put Prophet Wasallam's laws and what he wanted for us ahead of ourselves. And that to have a love for His reality more than we love and take care of ourselves and that puts our life into perspective. Every day when we do an accounting we account for ourselves that, am I loving Sayyidina Muhammad or at least attempting to love that reality more than I love myself? If that light and that love and that ishq begins to enter into the heart then we're going towards Muqam al-Ihsan which is the station of perfection. In that station of perfection Prophet was teaching, teaching and making it to be in reference to Allah By using the word Rabb means that if you worship your Lord as if you see your Lord and if you're not at that station yet where you see your Lord 
then know that your Lord sees you. And Imam Ali salam had an expression that Ba'ayn al-Rabb that from the Arab that I see in the street of Medina, I use my ayn, my spiritual vision and verily I see my Lord, my Rabb. I see my Rabb in the streets of Medina. Means he was using the eloquence of Arabic which we can't repeat because that's not from our, our background. We can barely give you the eloquence of Farsi. But I know Rabb that Imam Ali had a poetry where I see, I see my Lord in the streets of Medina walking. And that was a, a play on the word of Arab because it had the Ain and the Rabb. And that was the secret of that reality that the Arab, the Arabic messenger that he represents Allah's ancient knowledges. It has a, the vision of your heart can only understand that this Arab and that within his reality he is a Rabb, he's of a lordly soul, a lordly soul that is not of a, the common but he's from the house of lords. These are the souls where Allah said, they taught the book, they learned the book and they taught the book. And it's the only title that Allah gives in Qur'an, Be Rabbaniyoon, that you learn the kitab and you taught the kitab. So means then Rabb and the, the, the word of lordship is an immense reality and secret in our path, who understood the word of Rabb and its power and this is related to, to the Lord of this Ba, the Lord whom who controls this ocean of Bahr Qudra that this lordly soul is not like a common soul that Allah gave its a lofty, a lofty reality and that not all souls are created equal. Means there are those of the inner reality in which Allah gave them immense lights, immense blessings. So the reality like a spectrum of light, not every spectrum of light is equal. Light is actually described like a teardrop and the outermost line of that drop of light is the electromagnetic uh, spectrum. But light has many, many infinite spectrums, so they drop like a tear and the, the, the outermost understanding of light is the electromagnetic field. But what about the gamma ray, the ultraviolet ray, all these degrees of light, the power within them and the inability for even humans to see them means then the capacity of light is infinite like the darajat of souls. Not every soul is the same, one is from a lower spectrum of light and there are others from immensely high spectrums of light. Just like our own understanding of light, electromagnetic light and then there's lights that infrared, in infrared light that can change remotes. So means then there's a light that Allah gives to certain souls that can interact with your being and change your buttons. That they can enter into people and their light has a capacity to begin pushing the buttons that Allah wants within insan. Everything that we study from this realm of light is meant to teach us about ourselves. That this light that changes the remote on an infrared signal, that same light they can have a gamma ray that's radioactive and that it actually has radiation within its spectrum. So the immensity of the understanding of light is something that, that is, needs the heart to be in search of, that when we want to understand the malakut we begin to read upon the realities of light, the spectrum of light, the immensity of what Allah put within the reality of light, then we understand what Rabb is. Because Lordship is not everybody the same but the ones whom Allah they taught the book, 
they learned the book and they taught the book. And the reality of that book and the walking book of Allah is Muhammadun Rasulullah and all the Prophets of Allah wanted to reach to that reality. And that's why we've described in many of the teachings that from the big, the big Prophets of Allah how they wanted an audience from Sayyidina Muhammad and how they wanted to reach towards that reality within their lifetimes. We pray that Allah give us more and more understanding of the immensity of our salah, the immensity of the Divinely Mirror, the immense blessings that when the higher understanding comes that the more beatific reality is that if you replace that Kaaba and bring in the holy face and the immensity of that reality, all worshipness is for Allah but to know within our heart and our being and our very soul that we face and our whole soul is facing that reality. And that that soul and that face looks at us, dresses us, blesses us and take away every imperfection. And we describe when Allah is describing Qur'an that one of the descriptions of Prophet that Allah describes shahidan. That he, and it's not the physicality that people think only for the 23 years in Medina this was relevant. Allah doesn't care for dunya to the wing of a mosquito. Every description Allah's giving is a description from Akhirah and Malakut. That shahidan, that his soul is eternally witnessing. That's because we're facing. The power of the immense Divinely Faith, Mubashiran, that that face is sending immense emanations and lights and bliss and, and Divine Grace upon all these souls and Nadiran, and that that soul and that Holy Face is sending a guidance of what to not do and what to do to guide us from our our, our bad desires and from what shaitan is whispering within ourselves. And Allah gave the greatest gift of that reality to the nation of Islam, the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad We pray that Allah dress us, bless us and perfect that ishq for His Divinely Presence and the, the ishq and the love for the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and to reach where we, we love that reality more than we love ourselves and to achieve and to strive to live that way and enact that way to reach towards Divine Sincerity inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal azzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa na bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.